Well, Paul, you know, earlier I had out my temperature gun, and I thought it was very, very cool. That was until I came over to the Jags pit and saw this. This is a Fluke thermal imager. Now, if you look on the front side of this thing, it's got a digital camera. This takes a thermal image, and you can overlay them. And here's an example of how it works as we take a look at their air conditioner vent. You can see where it's cool on the inside, obviously. That's the blue part, red up hot. That's where it's warm. Now, as far as a racing application, for that, you got to come on back to Roy Simmons because i got no idea how this thing works. But, Roy, how did this thing come about, and what are we looking at here? Well, three races ago in English Town, the makers of this came and showed us how it worked and some of the stuff we could do with it. And we've learned some stuff with it. We're learning more all the time. Um, but we thought since we come to Bandemir Speedway and they've done such an excellent job with the cooling system on the starting line and Larry Crisp and the guys have done so much work that we could show off what, what it is on the track that it's doing. And to everybody else, this is what the racetrack looked like in a regular photo. But when you add the thermal imaging to it, you can see the cool and hot spots. This racetrack, typically you would have the hot in the middle where the cars are racing, but here you can see over in the corner, it's 99 degrees, 95 degrees on the other side. But where the blue is, where all the coils are in the racetrack, you can see it's down in the 80s, where behind where it cools it, it's much hotter. Um, looking from other views, we could take this, let me close this, we bring this down, and uh, We'll show we took you. Oh, yeah, exactly. Roy just said he could help me out with my uh, Halloween costume. And so this is what we started with. But with the thermal imager, Paul, and a little bit of makeup, I could probably look like this by October 31st. You don't happen to know a good makeup person, do you, Paul? You know what? You just scared the living daylights out of me and most of America with that. <laughs> And you can get one for only $8,000.